in Corsica. It always is on this island that offers you Mediterranean sunshine all the year round. Bastia is the romantic and rather melancholy fishing port, where a rocky mountain comes down to paddle in the sea and to burst into luscious bloom. Fish have a lot to do with holiday happiness, whether you catch them or eat them or just appreciate the fact that a fish market is always a compelling link between land and sea, a symbol of those things that never alter. We've seen young animals at play and young children. And now we've come to an island playground where young and old alike can shake off their cares. There are patterns linking all these playtime pastiches, a back to nature ease, discoveries and changelessness. Here you are aware of history and aware of your origins. The days when nations fought for the third largest island in the Mediterranean are forgotten. Today, Corsica is an escapist's holiday land, a rugged mountain range surrounded by the deep blue sea. Porto, where there's an unbroken arc of sand shaded with pine trees, fringing a bay of sea so clear you can count pebbles five fathoms deep or gaze inland at mountains you'll never get out of your mind. The luxury life you can find in some Corsican resorts is misleading and useful too. Misleading insofar as it masks the simplicity and wildness of the island. Useful in that it attracts and contains those sophisticates who might not mix with the old world charm of Porto. Perhaps the most beautiful place that the sea has carved out of the Corsican rock, delicately scented by eucalyptus trees. Fortunately, you will find that cars are still somewhat rare in these ranges, where so often you can hear deep silences. Listen. The plodding donkey, like fish markets, is an emblem of that elusive thing, the simple life, that we try to recapture on these holiday searches we make for our beginnings. Because that's what we're looking for, our antecedents and origins, when we go to a historic place like Ajaccio, which hasn't changed all that much since Napoleon was born there. The great man's birthplace is both a shrine today and a tourist attraction. They'll tell you that the British captured Corsica when Napoleon was an up-and-coming officer, and one of his earliest exploits was to conquer it back. Perhaps it's this that rankles when the lovers of the simple life cringe at the sight of these mass-produced souvenirs. But by now, such trinkets have become traditional. Napoleon certainly takes you back into your history as a nation, but postcards here take you further back to the primitive pastoral you you're out to rediscover on your Corsican holiday. Because every picture postcard is just a reminder of the real-life loveliness of the place that is part of you. Jatsio Corsica, playtime, rediscovery and rejuvenation. That's what playtime is, and this is the perfect playground where you can experience all this and simply relax. <laughs> Amazing how hard some people work when it's playtime. It's all in the mind. Playtime can also mean flopping out and simply doing nothing. Very nice too, if I may say so, very nice. What it also means is spontaneity and zest. 